Hey guys, it's Kurt with Owensboro RV, and today we're standing in front of a brand new Flagstaff floor plan, the 832 FLBS. Really cool floor plan. It is a front living camper, weighs about 8,700 pounds, really in the uh, three quarter ton truck category for this camper. One of the things that Flagstaff has done over the years is they've incorporated this front window. This year they've made it a little bit more aerodynamic, very space age looking. Uh, I really like it. It's really grown on me as I've looked at these campers and how they've designed this. I think it's a great design. It's going to be very aerodynamic plus allows a lot of light to come into the front end of the camper. So let's take a look at uh, some of the features on the outside of this camper and we'll take a look at the inside. So on the back end of your camper on this particular floor plane is where most of your living area is going to be. You've got the big awning here on the back side. You've got the outside kitchen and this is a rail where you put your grill to, uh, to grill out your hamburgers and hot dogs. You do have a metal wrapped awning, keep your awning looking good over the years and really protect it from the elements. It won't get any of the fading that happens with an awning that's just exposed to the elements all the time. So I think it's a great feature on the Flagstaff that we order them in this way. You do have a TV bracket out here as well. And so you can put your TV out here um, and you got your connections right here. Uh, also, one of the features on the Flagstaff, this uses the Torflex axle, so it's like a rubberized axle. It's like an independent suspension. It's one of the better axles that Dexter makes, and so all, most of the Flagstaff, I think almost all of their products, uses the Torflex Dexter axle, so an important feature for you to know about. The back side of the camper here for this Flagstaff model, there's a couple of features that I really like. One is they still do an exterior ladder on the outside, so easy access to the roof to do all of the roof maintenance, to get up there and resail around all of your vents and all of that. So I do like that they still do a ladder. A lot of the manufacturers have gone away from that. Another nice feature about the outside of this camper is this has got a plastic cover over the spare tire. Uh, it's not vinyl. It's not, some of them don't even put a cover on the spare tire. So it's nice that you have this nice plastic cover. It's just a little bit of an upgrade over some of the competition and some of the other manufacturers, what they do. Flagstaff has used the frameless windows for a couple of years now. It's a great touch. Uh, automotive style kind of frameless window. It's a jealousy style window so it opens out. And then you've also got the optional backup camera that if you want to do the backup camera you could do that so you can see behind you as you're backing up the camper. It's a great feature as well and comes standard on the flag great staff. feature on the flag staff is this exterior storage and this one actually it's part of the slide out so you've got two access doors you've got an access door here which is on the side of the slide you can see how ample storage this is uh, really a massive amount of storage to store all of your exterior gear and i do like the access door on this, this side a, a magnetic catch so real easy to get in and to get things and uh, that magnetic catch again just a nice little touch that flagstaff does i like also the thickness of the door slam tight baggage door just We're like sitting that. inside the front living Flagstaff. This is the 832 FLBS. Really cool floor plan in that it's got the two opposing slide outs right here. That gives you a lot of open living space. You've got this front window that I talked about. I like how they've done that. It allows a lot of light to come in. You can see they've done a lot of cabinetry on this. Everything's got the hidden hinges as well. And you can kind of see how that goes. It's got an electric fireplace here, which is a nice touch. It will allow you to warm up this camper on a nice chilly day like today without using your propane to heat it. Now, TV. You have a good size TV on this. And so uh, I'm raising this up here. Nice Toshiba TV. One of the nice things about Flagstaff is they use a lot of the name brand stuff. So you have a Toshiba TV. You've got Corian countertops. You've got uh, Serta mattress, on and on and on, name brand stuff that, that you're using in the camper here. And you can see as this TV goes up. And so, uh, anyways, you can see what that does though as we raise that up. You got the two couches opposing, really nice sitting area, very comfortable. And so I think that uh, this would be a great camper to own just for the living space alone that you can see so here. guys as we stand here you kind of look at the uh, the slide out this slide out is a big slide out you've got your kitchen as part of the slide you've got the raised panel refrigerator doors again the Corian countertops gives you a lot of space the nice thing about this too is you're working in the kitchen you can still see the TV and kind of still see out the camper there 
And so really I like how what they've done with all the cabinets here, sink. Uh, it feels very spacious to me. So I like what they've done. You've got the nice oven here with the glass cover. This raises up three burner stove and uh, oven right there. And then you've got a lot of cabinetry as well. And so uh, we want to take a look at this cabinetry and really take a look at how much storage you've got, but quite a bit deep drawers on it. And so I think it makes a, a nice kitchen area as, as you're out there and as you're camping. This is another slide out on the Flagstaff front living camper. It has got a freestanding dinette in the slide. So again, your table's kind of out of the way and uh, your entrance door is kind of between the, the first slide out with the couch on it and then the slide out with the dinette. Really like the freestanding dinette because it really gives you a lot more room than the booth dinette. Although I do feel booth dinette, if you wanted that, would be an option for you. But I really kind of like the freestanding because you can really get a little bit more uh, space between you and the, and the wall. One of the there. things that I like about the Flagstaff that they've done this year is this control panel. Everything is labeled. It's real easy to find. And so you can turn the power on from right here. And you've got entry light, porch lights, electric water heater, uh, off-door slide, flood light, LP gas water heater, your water pump, tank heater, step light, all your slide outs and your awnings are on this control panel. As you've also got your battery and your fresh water, gray water, black water monitors all right here. And I think it's a great new feature that Flagstaff is doing and one that really needs to be talked about because uh, I don't know how many times I've walked in a camper and something is not labeled. I push the button hoping it's the awning and the slide out runs out or vice versa. So this is nice that everything's labeled. Everything's real simple to, to use and to operate. One of the things too about this hallway as we're talking about it, you've got a lot of storage as you go back into the bedroom. And so it's a nice use of the space right here. Uh, it's a little bit tight through the hallway, but uh, really I like that you've got the storage in the hallway. You've got your bathroom back behind this door. And then you kind of walk back here to the bedroom. Full queen size bed. So as we're in the bedroom here, 60 by 80 queen bed, you've got a lot of storage on this. It is a Serta mattress, as I talked about before. You do have kind of a, a nice closet here that pulls out with a lot of hanging wardrobe space. And then you do have a lot of storage here that I want to show you. All of these drawers pull out. So it gives you a lot of storage for your clothes, for your socks, uh, for all those things that you're going to take with you when you go camping. And so a lot of storage in this bedroom, a lot more than I've seen in, in several other campers. So I really like this space in the bedroom. Of course, having the bedroom slide out really helps to open up this space to kind of give you a spacious bedroom in a camp. Okay, guys, I'm standing in the bathroom in the 832 uh, FLBS. This camper in the bathroom is a little bit tight. So if you're a little bit bigger person, you're probably not going to like the bathroom too much. But for a, ba for a uh, camper bathroom, it, it's certainly adequate. You've got the nice radius shower here which does give you a little bit of extra space you got the nice skylight to give you a little bit more headroom on it and then as you look uh, you do have a little bit of storage here for medicine cabinet and then also the little overhead cabinet to put a few towels or whatnot in here uh, you got your sink and then your toilet of course so a little bit tight but uh, overall this is a beautiful camper and and one that really needs to be considered for for your camping guys I, I appreciate you taking some time with me today to look at this camper uh, as you can tell it's a beautiful camper four slide outs very spacious if you want to come see us or one of my guys here at uh, Owensboro RV or even at Western Kentucky RV, our sister store. We'd love for you to come out. Uh, I'm pretty accessible. You can reach me by email, by phone, call the dealership here. And uh, we'd, we'd love to talk to you about this camper or some of the others that we have on our lot. I promise you we'll make you a great and, deal. Uh, one thing also about this camper is in terms of the pricing on this camper, MSRP comes in at about 43.8. And so uh, of course that's MSRP. We usually have sale prices on these that range uh, several thousand dollars off. We're going to be very competitive on our pricing. And so uh, give us a shot. That's all we can ask. And uh, you'd be amazed at what we can do with some of our pricing on these units. But uh, as equipped, this one comes in at 43.8. And so just to let you know, we ordered this with the uh, champagne exterior or the oyster exterior, maple cabinetry, power tongue jack. It's got the power stab jacks, raised uh, panel refrigerator fronts. It's got the bigger air, the 15,000 air. It's also got uh, the option to add the second air because it is a 50 amp service. 
And then this has got the uh, freestanding table and chairs, the fireplace, water purifier, outside grill. So that's kind of how we equip this particular one and comes in at an MSRP of 43816. And so come see us and uh, if you're ever in the Owensboro area, feel free to stop in and uh, talk to me. Love to, love to see you come out. Thanks guys.